All right, welcome back to Enkinemia, and watch your step here because this stupid rock down here still can break your legs. I I know this because I tried it, and I unfortunately Amber suffered the consequences of that action. But here, you can see I can actually stand on it and such. It's not fun. So watch your step, and please take care of your character's legs. They need them to stand. Anyway, I digress. So this fight isn't necessarily the most different compared to the regular fight of Bethismal Bishopherd that you would find in regular Enkinemia. However, there are a few key differences that you need to pay attention to, so please listen up. 1. This boss fight is a lot more aggressive. In the old fight, usually you would just destroy all the walls and then the Electro Lizard just kind of shoots balls at you and that's it. And sometimes the Cryo one just kind of like runs at you and does whatever, or just shoots a ball in the distance, nothing else. However, this fight, these guys love to charge up to you quite a lot, so be aware that this boss fight will test your dodging skills. And the Electro Lizard also has more moves. It can actually lodge itself into the ground and shoot the icicles up in the air, and also it shoots like weird Electro Missiles at you from its tail, so be aware of that as well. The second thing you need to pay attention to is this little box down here. This is the Bokusu box, and unfortunately it's a gimmick of this boss fight and I hate it. Basically. These orbs spawn on the cryo field, and then like you gotta like clean them real quick, otherwise they'll be absorbed by the Bethismal Bishop herd. But like it, you end up getting absorbed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So you have to do it as many times as possible, so you don't prolong the effect. It's a dumb thing, and when they happen to absorb it, they so suddenly emitting AOE damage, and it hurts quite a lot. You see this? My traveler took two thousand damage in just one hit. So be aware of that and uh, protect your units please. Bring Noel if you need to because the damage doesn't go through the shields, but <sighs> I just don't like the boss mechanic. Three, this boss has a self-revive mechanic. So the self-revive mechanic is that if you destroy one of them, but not the other one within 10 seconds, it will self-revive itself and give itself 20% HP. This makes it for the fact that they don't go into the water anymore, but honestly I would rather prefer that because this is so annoying. So yes, be sure to balance the damage in between the two, just like the regular fight. Otherwise, you are screwed. Four, this boss likes to go in the middle. Quite a lot, actually. And the, they just go in the middle and do the whole laser 180 move. And sometimes, if they spin and then you just happen to be where they're going to start the thing, you get blasted. And it's not fun. And five, as always, you can eat food. So, all right, let's begin. I'm going to actually eat my food. I'm going to eat some food myself because I don't feel like dealing with this boss anymore. So, Let's begin. We can go with level 50, 70, or 90. I'm going to go 70 because 50 has too little HP, and level 90, it takes too long for a guide, and I don't want to waste your time, so let's go 70. All right, let's go. Noel, bring her out, and hit this twice. It has less HP than a regular fight, which is interesting, so just destroy both of them, and you should be good. One, two. And here, you're just going to avoid this little laser attack that they do. And what you actually want to do, what I'm going to do anyway, I'm going to toss Baron Bunny here, and I'm going to get close to this Cryo Dude, because the Cryo Dude likes to come up to you and do the whole like stupid, yeah, this thing right here, perfect. I'm going to do this, and boom, I'm going to do some extra damage here. And you see how this Electro guy also does the same move? It's very annoying. So I actually wholly recommend using Amber for this fight, because sometimes you just need some extra range damage, man. But otherwise, take your time and use Geo Traveler to do some damage. Uh, yeah, and don't let it push you into the water either. Very annoying. Fuck off. Anyway, so now you see these orbs. Very annoying, because what happens is if you don't get it, if you don't get them absorbed, and you, they'll just absorb it, and uh, they go ape shit on you. So be careful. I'm gonna absorb this real quick. Doink. And this one too. Luckily, sometimes they don't absorb it, but it happens more often than not, so you need to make sure these guys don't absorb it. Here, like the regular boss fight, just use Amber, shoot. And be aware that you can get caught on this, so be careful when you're making your rounds about. And this is kind of the entire fight, really, because all I just showed you in the last minute is basically the same exact fight as the old one, except with a few more gimmicks. I kind of want to see if this guy would shoot the stupid uh, tail thing at me, but these guys are just going in the middle again. So here, you gotta go in the middle, dodge just like Crowd Ride is fine, and you just continue doing the same exact thing over and over again. It's just mind numbing, really. So shoot these guys in the head again, and again, see how these guys are absorbing it? Look at the Crowd guy now. 
Is he emitting that stupid, like, ring of death? If you get close to him, you take, like, 2,000 to 4,000 damage. It is not fun. So you want to get rid of these things as much as possible. And also be careful of this guy who just shot the Electro Shards at me. That is also not fun. It stuns your character. So you want to go around clearing those and... But see how this... Look how frequently they go into the middle and do this kind of dumb shit. And sometimes this laser spawns on you, so you might just get hit anyway. So here, I'm going to just do as much damage as I can. And here, another free damage phase with Amber. Shoot him in the head because they have weak spots. I'm going to do more damage to the Cryo guy, because the Cryo guy has more HP than the Electro one. So I'm going to bring down his health a little bit. Keep in mind that you can do this with any other character that cleans it. If you want to unga bunga with Bennett or whatever, do what I guess. But I'm doing this free to play because I don't like that whole tactic of, Oh, just use Bennett, it's easy. Yeah, that's not free to play friendly, and it's also a dumb tactic. It's not smart. Anyway, so now the Electro guy is now accumulating the stupid, uh, stupid juice. So I have to run around and make sure he doesn't get near me, because if I die, like, he actually is able to gank me. It is very not fun. So again, even though that the ailment goes away every now and then, it's just not fun. So honestly, I'm just kind of waiting for them to go into the standard, like, laser thing and giving me damage opportunities, because I can't really seem to get a shot off whenever they actually uh, are running around. Alright, so do more damage here. Whoa. Run, dude, run! Run, Traveler, run! Ah, oh, perfect. I managed to trigger both of them, so I'm just gonna shoot all of them in the head twice. So now we're nearing the end of the boss fight, and here, just continue to dodge some more. And actually, this is perfect. I need to make sure these damages go directly to their heads. And yes, those can block your vision. It's annoying. Okay, now get really close with Traveler. Eh, now we're good. As you saw that there was a meter on the top, uh, I'll instant replay it right now as you're hearing my voice. That is a very quick timer. So be aware that if you are playing at a high difficulty and you don't have enough DPS, there's a very good chance that the other guy just revives himself like this. And you're screwed. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, balance your damage, and the majority of the damage will come from Amber and Noel if you are willing to Unga Bunga or Traveler, because Traveler is a good DPS, especially Geo Traveler. And that's all I have for this fight. And here's how I did it with my regular squad. Oh, 
此乃天道。祭典重现。